For anyone considering a mausoleum for their family resting place, this is the Essential Buyer's Guide to Private Family Mausoleums, where you'll learn what you need to consider before you purchase your mausoleum. When most people think of mausoleums, they think of grand, ornate structures. Like the Taj Mahal, built by Emperor Shah Jahan for his wife. Or Grant's tomb, built for Civil War General and U.S. President Ulysses S. Grant. Even the Great Pyramid of Giza serves as a mausoleum for Pharaoh Khufu and his queen. In reality, mausoleums come in all shapes and sizes. This chapter of the Essential Buyer's Guide to Private Family Mausoleums is a private family and public mausoleum U.S. Buyer's Guide that looks at the difference between above-ground burial vaults and community buildings. Private family mausoleums are built for one family, paid for by that family, and placed on a burial plot or plots purchased by the family. As opposed to headstones that mark below-ground graves, mausoleums are freestanding above-ground structures that hold the bodies or ashes of the deceased. Private mausoleums can be built to contain crypts for caskets and niches for ashes and cremation urns. Depending on how the private mausoleum is constructed, crypts and niches can be accessed on the interior or exterior of the mausoleum. The crypts and niches are covered with a piece of granite called a crypt or niche front or door. When the time comes for a body to be placed in a crypt or niche, the crypt or niche front is removed either using a bronze rosette or suction cups. After the body has been placed inside, the crypt or niche front is put back and then permanently sealed. Private family mausoleums include above-ground burial vaults that hold just one or two crypts and cost upwards of $15,000 to mausoleum buildings that can house dozens of crypts and urns and typically cost anywhere from $180,000 to millions of dollars. In contrast to private family mausoleums, public or community mausoleums are above-ground buildings memorializing many unrelated individuals. Public or community mausoleums are built by a cemetery or other institution, usually on cemetery grounds. Families and individuals purchase private niches where the casket is interred and sealed with a stone or bronze identifying marker. As with private family mausoleums, public mausoleums provide you with a safe, clean enclosure that will keep your casket or vault dry, avoiding any contact with the ground. In the United States, it typically costs between $7,000 and $8,000 to purchase a single crypt or burial space in a public indoor mausoleum, about what a burial plot and grave marker costs. A 9-inch cremation niche in a community mausoleum typically costs between $750 and $2,800. In the Essential Buyer's Guide to Private Family Mausoleums, we'll cover the topics that will give you what you need to know to make an informed decision about buying a truly high-quality private family mausoleum. In subsequent chapters, we'll look at the different types of private family mausoleums. We'll look at the wide variety of mausoleum styles and the costs associated with each one. You'll find out how ashes are buried in mausoleums and columbariums, and get insight into whether a mausoleum is right for your family. We'll give you tips on how to choose a good cemetery for your mausoleum burial. You'll learn the ins and outs of planning, designing, and building your family mausoleum. We'll show you options for mausoleum designs, accessories, and materials, and give you tips on buying a custom-designed private family mausoleum while stressing the importance of high-quality construction from the foundation to the roof. You'll learn what it costs to be buried in a mausoleum. You'll find out how to select a mausoleum builder that will provide you with a high-quality mausoleum. You'll learn the process of buying a mausoleum, and we'll take you to a quality-driven mausoleum company to see how private family mausoleums are designed, built, and installed. You can view any chapter by clicking on the chapter link in the description below, or you can click on the link to the full video.
Mausoleums are a big investment, and I hope this series of videos will help you find the mausoleum that is right for your family at a cost that fits your budget and that's built with the highest quality materials and craftsmanship. Only then will you get a truly beautiful memorial that will last for time immemorial. And if you have any questions about anything related to mausoleums, a mausoleum professional at Rome Monument will be happy to take your call. This is a private family mausoleum. And this is a private family mausoleum. Mausoleums come in all shapes and sizes. Which mausoleum is right for your family? In this chapter of the Essential Buyer's Guide to Private Family Mausoleums, I'm going to tell you about the different types and prices of mausoleums for sale in the U.S., including one, two, and three crypt mausoleums, private family mausoleums, and walk-in mausoleums. There are three basic types of mausoleums. Above ground burial vaults, which start at $15,000 for one that's quality built. Garden or outdoor mausoleums, which start at around $200,000 quality built. And estate walk-in and non-walk-in mausoleum buildings, which start at about $95,000 for smaller structures and $180,000 and above for larger structures. When deciding which type you want, you'll need to take into consideration the number of family members you expect to be interred, the style you prefer, the price you can afford, and the availability and requirements of spaces in your cemetery. Above-ground burial vaults can contain any number of crypts and be for any number of people. A crypt is a chamber in a mausoleum that holds the casket of the deceased. Single crypt lawn mausoleums hold just one casket. The casket is placed in a crypt opening and covered with a front or door that can be highly decorative. Two crypt or companion lawn mausoleums store two caskets and are generally for spouses. Crypts can be placed back to back, side by side, or one on top of the other. Family lawn mausoleums hold anywhere from three to dozens of crypts and urns. This is a garden mausoleum, an open-air structure without a defined walk-in interior. The crypt openings are on the outside. It can also have niches for cremated remains. A non-walk-in mausoleum building, sometimes called a chapel or a state mausoleum, is a large structure with crypt openings on the outside. An estate or walk-in mausoleum is a building with crypt openings typically on the inside. Walk-in mausoleum buildings have a working door and an interior space for the family to visit. Niches in the walls or a columbarium can hold cremated remains. The protected interior can have one or more rooms for prayer and to display funerary art and artifacts of remembrance. There are many variations to lawn, garden, and estate mausoleums. If you want to learn more about the different types and costs of mausoleums, just call a mausoleum professional at Rome Monument and they'll be happy to explain your options. Mausoleums are not one size fits all. There are lots of different mausoleum styles, one that may fit your needs and budget perfectly. In this chapter of the Essential Buyer's Guide to Private Family Mausoleums, we'll take a look at some mausoleum design styles and costs in the U.S. for modern, single crypt, family, simple, side-by-side -side mausoleums, and more. A mausoleum company that is quality-driven can advise you on the ideal style for your private family mausoleum based on the number of bodies to be buried there, the cemetery regulations, the location, the cost, and other factors. Mausoleums are above-ground structures that contain the crypt or crypts of the deceased. They can be as simple as a granite butter dish style mausoleum that is just large enough to cover a coffin or casket. Ironically, modern style mausoleums most often find their design inspiration in the architectural styles of old. From the elegant Greek and Roman classical styles, to the soaring Gothic and Romanesque styles. More on mausoleum architectural styles in a later chapter. 
Private family mausoleums refer to any style of mausoleum that holds the bodies and remains of the family that personally commission the design and building of the mausoleum. Single crypt lawn style mausoleums sit at ground level and have one crypt that holds one body. Multi crypt lawn style mausoleums are ground level structures that hold more than one body. They can be as simple or as decorative as you like. Crypts can be placed side by side, front and back, or stacked on top of each other in two crypt mausoleums, three crypt, four crypt, or other multi-crypt family lawn style mausoleums. Prices vary from $25,000 for a two crypt or companion lawn style mausoleum to $55,000 and above for an eight crypt lawn style mausoleum. This is a garden mausoleum an open-air structure without a defined walk-in interior. Garden-style mausoleums start at about $200,000. Walk-in mausoleum buildings have a working door and an interior space for the family to visit. The crypts are on the inside. It can have niches or a columbarium for cremated remains and places for personal art and artifacts. The cost for walk-in mausoleums start at $95,000 for small structures and $180,000 and above for larger family estate mausoleums. Large or small, mausoleums can be built by a quality mausoleum company in any style you prefer. If you want to learn more about the different styles and costs of mausoleums, just call a mausoleum expert at Rome Monument and they'll be happy to explain your options. Over half the people who die in the U.S. are cremated. There are many ways to preserve their ashes for posterity, including placing them in a mausoleum or a columbarium. Both are cemetery structures for the deceased, but there are important differences between the two. In this chapter of the Essential Buyer's Guide to Private Family Mausoleums, we'll give you an above-ground interment and cremation niche guide to how ashes are buried in mausoleums and columbariums. Once a body is cremated, the container with the ashes is delivered to the family who have several options for the ashes disposition. They can scatter the remains, place them in an urn, place them in a personalized cremation marker or cremation monument that will be set on your property or in a cemetery, bury the cremains in a grave in a cemetery, and tomb them above ground by placing the ashes in a niche or mausoleum in a cemetery. If you care to create a truly lasting remembrance of a loved one, a mausoleum or columbarium burial is probably your best option. In a private family mausoleum, an urn can share space with a casket in a crypt or it can occupy its own crypt. A more common option is to design smaller cremation niches in the interior or exterior mausoleum walls for urns and ashes, each one holding the remains of one family member. These niches can be quite beautiful with decorative bronze doors that can be custom designed by the family. When the time comes for the ashes or cremation urns to be placed in a niche, the niche front is removed either using a bronze rosette or suction cups. The ashes or cremation urn placed inside, the niche front is then put back and permanently sealed. A group of niches for ashes or cremation urns is called a columbarium. A columbarium can either be a freestanding granite structure or incorporated within the construction of a mausoleum. A columbarium inside a walk-in mausoleum building or on the outside adjoining the mausoleum can have dozens of cremation niches in a relatively small space. Many cemeteries, churches, and other institutions have a columbarium with niches for sale to the public or their members. These can be quite large and are an option for those who do not mind sharing a space with non-family members. To learn more about setting ashes in a mausoleum or columbarium, just speak with a certified cremation specialist at Rome Monument. The consultation is free and they will be happy to answer all your questions.
In this chapter of the Essential Buyer's Guide to Private Family Mausoleums, we'll present a guide to private walk-in granite mausoleums with prices for walk-in and non-walk-in mausoleums for sale. Let's start with walk-in mausoleums. A walk-in mausoleum is just that. You go in through a door and enter the inside of the mausoleum. Some of you may have been in a public walk-in mausoleum. Lincoln's tomb in Illinois is a public walk-in mausoleum. So is Grant's tomb in New York. And the Garfield Memorial in Ohio. And there are many more. They are filled with artwork and remembrances of the life of the deceased, along with personal artifacts and spaces for the public to sit and reflect. These are for the general public to visit. Private family walk-in mausoleums are reserved for one family only. They can be modest or majestic. Walk-in mausoleums have crypt openings on the inside of the structure. Cremated remains are placed in niches on the inside walls or in a columbarium that has compartments for multiple urns and ashes. Walk-in mausoleums have working bronze doors that are opened with a private code. Walk-in mausoleums allow the family to visit in comfort year-round. Artwork and remembrances reflect the family's lives and loves. A walk-in mausoleum can have several rooms, including a chapel for prayer and reflection. They can be designed any way you like, though most incorporate the grand architectural styles of old. A small walk-in mausoleum like this starts at around $225,000. You can purchase a classically styled walk-in mausoleum like this from $700,000. Some private family non-walk-in mausoleums look just like walk-in mausoleums from the outside. They can even have an entrance door, though it's for decoration only. Since you don't have access to the inside, the crypt openings are on the outside of the mausoleum. Non-walk-in mausoleums can be any size and for any number of crypts. Non-walk-in private family mausoleums include lawn or ground level mausoleums like these. Prices start at about $15,000 for a single crypt lawn mausoleum. Outdoor mausoleums have no interior space for visitors. Costs for a garden mausoleum like this one start at about $200,000. And non-walk-in estate mausoleums are larger buildings that start at about $180,000. When making your decision about buying the mausoleum that is right for your family, talk to your family about whether they would like a walk-in or non-walk-in mausoleum. And if you'd like to learn more about walk-in and non-walk-in mausoleums, you can speak with a mausoleum professional at Rome Monument. They'll be happy to answer any questions you have. Mausoleums are not just built by the rich and famous as symbols of prestige. Over many centuries, mausoleums have been built for people in every level of society for a variety of reasons. In this chapter of the Essential Buyer's Guide to Private Family Mausoleums, we'll look at why and how families are buried in private mausoleums. Mausoleums provide a distinctive alternative to a traditional in-ground casket burial. Here are just a few reasons why many people prefer above-ground burial in a private family mausoleum. First, mausoleums keep families together in one convenient location, generation after generation after generation. Purchase a mausoleum now and future generations won't have to worry about finding their own burial plot or buying a headstone. With a mausoleum, you can have as many crypts and urns as you need. A mausoleum crypt is an above-ground vault or chamber within a mausoleum that holds the burial remains. In some cases, these may be cremation urns instead of or as well as caskets. The size of the crypt determines the number of individuals that can be interred in the mausoleum. With walk-in mausoleums, families can visit any time of year, rain or snow. The bigger size and taller height makes a mausoleum stand out in a cemetery. Mausoleums are eco-friendly. 
One family mausoleum plot generally will require far less of a footprint than a grouping of family grave sites. If you live in an area with high rainfall or high water tables, an above ground mausoleum with proper drainage keeps the crypts safe and dry. Mausoleums create a place to relax and reflect on the life of loved ones who are interred in a mausoleum. When the ground freezes, in ground burials are usually put off till spring. However, crypts can be added to mausoleums any time of year. Inside a walk in mausoleum, you have plenty of room to display personal art and artifacts that tell the stories of your family members' lives. You can't take it with you, but you can certainly leave it for your heirs to enjoy. A mausoleum says you've made significant contributions in your life and to your family. Mausoleums are expressions of majestic love. When the cost of a mausoleum is shared among all the family members, your cost becomes a fraction of the total cost and may even cost less than a gravesite and headstone. And some people simply don't want to be buried in the ground with dirt and weeds and whatnot. If you'd like to talk to a mausoleum expert to find out if a mausoleum is right for your family, just call Rome Monument and they'll be happy to help you out. Look around. Do you see any mausoleums? I don't. That's because every cemetery has rules and regulations about what kind of memorials they allow and where they can be placed, and that includes mausoleums. In this chapter of the Essential Buyer's Guide to Private Family Mausoleums, you'll learn how to choose a good cemetery for your mausoleum burial. We'll talk about cemetery type, location, rules, and costs. If you're thinking about a private family mausoleum, the first thing you have to think about is where to install it. If you don't have a place to put it, you certainly don't want to buy it. There are basically five types of cemeteries which allow new private family mausoleums. Veteran cemeteries, public cemeteries, green cemeteries or natural burial parks, religious cemeteries, and municipal or district cemeteries. Veteran cemeteries, for military veterans and their families, are managed by the government, either local, state, or national. Municipal cemeteries are managed by a nonprofit organization governed by a voluntary board of trustees and offer plots and settings at a lower cost. Green cemeteries and natural burial parks are places for eco-friendly burials. These types of burials are a technique for caring for the deceased with minimal environmental impact. Religious cemeteries are owned and operated by local religious organizations. A public cemetery refers to any cemetery used by the general community, a neighborhood, or religious organization. The best way to start looking for a cemetery is to search the web for Find a Cemetery Near Me. Find cemeteries that suit your needs and look them up on the web or give them a call. Cemeteries have different rules and regulations concerning mausoleums. Some only allow certain types of mausoleums, certain sizes and styles, and some don't allow mausoleums at all. You may need to find out what their policy is on the disposition of cremated remains. If the cemetery is affiliated with a church, do they allow other faiths to be buried there? Does the cemetery have a mausoleum plot that's affordable for you and your family? Plots in prime locations with exceptional views cost more. How will the mausoleum grounds be managed and cared for? Top-notch security and well-maintained grounds can come at a high cost. If you can't find a suitable cemetery to house your mausoleum, there is another option install it on your property. That's right, most states allow you to build a mausoleum at your home. The only restrictions are state and local laws for zoning. You'll be able to see and visit the grave whenever you want. It also costs a lot less than buying and maintaining a cemetery gravesite. If you'd like to talk to a mausoleum expert, talk with a mausoleum company like Rome Monument in Pittsburgh. They install monuments around the country and are familiar with cemetery rules and local and state laws for installing a mausoleum.
The family who ordered this mausoleum is still living. They are smart because they got exactly the mausoleum they wanted by ordering pre-need. Designing, building, and installing a mausoleum can take months, if not years. That's why planning ahead, in advance of the passing of any family members, is a smart decision. In this chapter of the Essential Buyer's Guide to Private Family Mausoleums, let's talk about a pre-need mausoleum purchase, how to plan, buy, and build your custom family mausoleum, and how to buy your cemetery plots and land. When ordering a mausoleum pre-need, you pre-design, pre-plan, and pre-pay for a truly high-quality monument prior to a passing and according to everyone's wishes. If you wait till a family member passes, you'll be left with difficult decisions on a big investment while still in mourning and could be overwhelmed with funeral arrangements and other post-passing business. In addition, you can't guarantee that the wishes of the deceased are expressed accurately. Start your pre-need purchase by having your family meet with a professional mausoleum designer to discuss your options in an unhurried, thoughtful, and compassionate manner. Project how many family members might be interred in the mausoleum, how many crypts and cremation urns. Choose a mausoleum type and style. What color and texture of granite do you prefer? What artwork and wording do you agree on? Where will you install the mausoleum? How much do you want to spend? The average cost of purchasing interment rights for a cemetery plot depends on several factors. Whether the cemetery is public or private, the plot size, the location of the plot in the cemetery, the cost of living in your area, how many plots are you purchasing? Single plots are for the remains of one person in a casket. Cremated remains and urns can also be buried in a single plot, often sharing space with buried caskets. Companion plots are two plots sold together, usually for a married couple. Family plots are larger spaces in an area of a cemetery reserved for burying family members. A family plot can also be multiple single plots purchased together by a family. In addition to a plot, you may also need to purchase endowment care or perpetual care, opening and closing of the grave, installing the mausoleum, and annual maintenance fees. Public cemeteries offer the most affordable option for burial plots. Single plots run approximately $200 to $2,000 plus. Urn burials cost between $200 to $500 per burial plot. A grave site with a lawn crypt costs between two dollars and $12,000 and more. Private cemeteries are more expensive. A single plot costs anywhere from $1,000 to $5,000 and more, and up to $20,000 in heavily populated high-cost areas. A plot for cremated remains costs between $1,000 and $2,500. For assistance in purchasing your cemetery plot, you can consult your clergy, funeral director, or even a mausoleum manufacturer like Rome Monument. Although a mausoleum typically costs more than a headstone, when costs are spread out among family members, it can be a great value for everyone involved. Then a mausoleum memorial artist will create a rendering that shows exactly what your finished mausoleum will look like. Once you approve the design, skilled artisans sculpt and carve the granite into the extraordinary monument you envisioned. Then deliver it to your cemetery and install it or you can have the mausoleum stored at a monument facility until needed. Pre-planning ensures that your family gets a mausoleum exactly the way you want it. To find out more about ordering a mausoleum pre-need, call a mausoleum professional at Rome Monument and they'll be able to help you out. The message that is etched into this mausoleum has special meaning for the family that is interred here. Etchings and engravings are a beautiful way to personalize a mausoleum. 
In this chapter of the Essential Buyer's Guide to Private Family Mausoleums, I'm going to show you how personalized etchings and engravings offer families an opportunity to memorialize the life and journey through life of an individual or family. Engraving is the process of cutting lettering, symbols, images, and artwork into the granite using hammers and chisels or sandblasting techniques that erode away the unprotected sections of the surface, creating a high contrast between the polished stone and the unpolished sandblasted stone. Engraving is used for deeper cuts. Etching makes shallower cuts and can create more detailed designs. Hand etchers use diamond-tipped engraving tools to create intricate, detailed artwork and designs. Laser etching is used to recreate actual photographs and designs. A computerized laser burns away the stone's surface. These types of carvings are your opportunity to have your family's legacy etched in stone, literally. Add a beautiful epitaph or saying that speaks to the love that your family shares, or symbols and imagery that convey the specific nationality or religion of your family. Show your family members personal achievements and accomplishments, their hobbies and interests. Have a calming nature scene or a portrait etched in stone. A professional mausoleum company has the designers, facilities, and mausoleum artists that can create beautiful etchings and engravings exactly the way you want. To talk with a mausoleum design expert about your options for mausoleum etchings and engravings, call Rome Monument and they'll be able to help you. Mausoleums are subjected to harsh weather conditions, extreme heat and cold, direct sunlight, ground moisture, ground movement, and of course, time. For that reason, they are built with construction materials that ensure their durability and longevity. In this chapter of the Essential Buyer's Guide to Private Family Mausoleums, we'll talk about how mausoleums are built with granite, marble, and bronze, the most common U.S. mausoleum construction materials in 2023. Granite is the hardest and most durable construction material used in mausoleums, and also the most popular. The best granite comes from reputable quarries in the U.S. and Canada, and is high in quartz and feldspar, making it extremely durable. Granite is ideal for etching and engraving artwork and lettering that will outlast other materials. Granite comes in a variety of textures, patterns, and rich colors, including black, blue pearl, gray, mahogany, red, rose, and white colored granite. Marble mausoleums may be stylish and stunning, but they are not nearly as durable as granite mausoleums and will cost you more. While granite is made from hard, igneous rock, the softer marble is made of limestone, which means it is more likely to degrade over time. Inscriptions may become difficult to read and art difficult to decipher. Marble is a good choice for interior uses, for the walls, a crypt, or sculpture, as it is not exposed to the elements. Marble comes in a wide range of colors, the most popular being white and gray. Bronze is a metal commonly used for bronze doors and other mausoleum accessories and decorations. Bronze is comprised primarily of copper, but with the addition of other metals that give it superior strength, beauty, and resistance to weathering. Bronze items for mausoleums include doors, window frames, window grills, gates, handrails, stone tomb door hardware, compartment doors, and niche units. These come in standard designs with custom sizes, or you can fully customize your bronze application. Lettering and designs can be added to the bronze. To learn more about granite, marble, and bronze materials for mausoleum construction, talk to a mausoleum professional at Rome Monument. They'll be happy to help you out. You might expect a sculpture like this to be found in a museum, 
but it's in a cemetery where it can be viewed and enjoyed for generations to come. In this chapter of the Essential Buyer's Guide to Private Family Mausoleums, I'm going to show you how granite mausoleums are designed and built in the U.S. with custom sculptures, statues, and columns. A sculpture is any three-dimensional piece of art created by carving, removing material, or modeling, adding material. They can be custom sculptures, statues, or sculpted columns. Sculpture can have religious imagery, or they can be a symbol or image with special meaning to the family. Add a sculpture that symbolizes your religion, like this cross, or symbols representing your family's nationality. Popular statue styles include religious figures, angels, figures depicting family members or their careers or hobbies, animals, sometimes for protection, and really just about anything you desire. Statues can be placed on the base course, the landscaped mausoleum plot, or inside a walk-in mausoleum. Fluted columns can be carved in a number of classic styles. The wide supports at the top of the column can be sculpted with decorative ornate capitals or crowns. The entablature, or the granite moldings and bands that lie horizontally above the columns, are often decorated with egg and dart sculpture, or dental. Statues sometimes are placed on the entablature. Bas-relief sculptures, three-dimensional carvings with a shallow depth, can depict scenes with important meaning to your family. Friezes are sculpted panels that occupy the central sections of the entablature and often told pictorial stories in ancient times. The mausoleum pediment is above the entablature and is usually triangular. It can hold an inscription, bas relief or decorative panel topped by a hood mold to redirect water and surrounded by ornamental moldings. If you want to learn more about the different types of sculptures for a mausoleum, just call a mausoleum professional at Rome Monument and they'll be happy to answer any of your questions. Since ancient times, mausoleum styles have reflected a region's culture and the influences of the times they were built in. This chapter of the Essential Buyer's Guide to Private Family Mausoleums is a 2023 Granite Mausoleum Architectural Design Style Guide. We'll take a look at some of the architectural styles found in today's mausoleums, including modern, classical, and custom with bronze. Mausoleums come in every shape and size, and it is up to each family to decide exactly what theirs will look like. Based on Greek and Roman architecture, classical style mausoleums have perfect proportions, harmony, symmetry, and feature triangular pediments and tall columns supporting horizontal beams. Like the White House and other government buildings in our nation's capital, neoclassical style mausoleums borrow elements from classical architecture, including the grand scale, simple forms, and dramatic columns. From the 6th to the 10th century, churches and abbeys in Europe were built using Romanesque architecture. Semicircular arches, symmetrical design, and thick walls are features of Romanesque mausoleums, which can also include rusticated stone and medieval columns. Gothic architecture, originally used in cathedrals built in Europe from the 12th to the 16th centuries, is distinguished by soaring towers, decorative spires and stonework, pointed arches, and in some cases, protective sculptures. Baroque architecture, seen in European palaces and churches of the 16 to the 1800s, expresses itself as tall, grand, decorative mausoleums with dramatic domes. Asian-style mausoleum architecture is similar to that found in pagodas, with tiered towers, multiple eaves, and a sloping roof. Egyptian-style mausoleums borrow elements from ancient Egyptian architecture, with its extensive funerary art, grand scale, and use of pyramids, obelisks, Egyptian symbology, and frescoes and friezes. Islamic-style mausoleum architecture resembles that found in Islamic mosques and palaces. The basic form is a cube topped by a dome, with minarets, elaborate decorations, 
patterns and ornamentation, and exquisite calligraphy. Of course, mausoleum designs can be based on modern architectural styles too. Any mausoleum style can incorporate bronze into its design, including the entrance doors, crypt shutters, niche doors, and mausoleum accessories. Consider your architectural options. There are plenty of things you can do to make your family's mausoleum unlike any other. If you want to talk to a mausoleum professional about different styles of mausoleums, just call Rome Monument. They'll be happy to answer any questions you have. Walk-in mausoleums allow the family to visit in comfort year-round. In this chapter of the Essential Buyer's Guide to Private Family Mausoleums, you'll learn about walk-in mausoleum interiors, vaults, crypts, and caskets with family mausoleum interior design pictures. Walk-in mausoleums have crypt openings on the inside of the structure. They hold the burial caskets or ashes of the deceased. A mausoleum burial vault is a lined, sealed container or chamber that protects the casket. A crypt can serve as a burial vault. Urns with cremated remains are placed in niches on the walls or in a columbarium that holds multiple ashes. These openings also have doors, which can be decorated however you wish. Walk-in Mausoleum Interiors provides indoor spaces for you to decorate or use for other purposes. Display artwork that reflects the family's loves and passions. Include memorabilia that has sentimental value to your family. Install stained glass windows. Create a special chapel room for prayer. Fill your walk-in mausoleum with special recollections of your loved ones. Your family will love visiting generation after generation. To learn more about designs and materials for walk-in mausoleums, just call a mausoleum professional at Rome Monument and they'll be happy to answer any question you have. This bench is a place to relax and reflect on the life of loved ones who are interred in a mausoleum. In this chapter of the Essential Buyer's Guide to Private Family Mausoleums, we'll give you some mausoleum, memorial, and cemetery landscape design ideas for outdoor garden and private mausoleums. I'm going to show you different ways to landscape the outdoor space around your mausoleum. To make it even more beautiful and very peaceful, to create an inviting space for family members to visit and stay a while in comfort. Start with planting grass. To create a beautiful bed of green while helping to soak up moisture that can damage the mausoleum over time. Add some plants and flowers that don't require a lot of attention. Outdoor lights bring out the mausoleum's beauty at night. A water feature, such as a fountain, stream, or pool, is a beautiful touch to the landscaping. Gardens can be designed to include plants, flowers, sculptures, rocks, and other elements to give your mausoleum setting a zen quality. A walking path can provide a beautiful entrance to the mausoleum, and a patio can provide a lovely space for loved ones to gather. Outdoor garden mausoleums are airy structures that are ideal for innovative landscaping ideas. Statues can represent eternity a religion, a person's hobby or career, or an animal that symbolizes protection or love. The landscaping that surrounds your mausoleum can enhance the beauty of your family's plot and create a welcoming space for your family for generations to come. To learn more about your options for mausoleum landscaping, just call a mausoleum professional at Rome Monument and they'll be happy to answer any questions you have. You've designed your dream mausoleum. Now it's time to decorate it with your choice of mausoleum accessories. In this chapter of the Essential Buyer's Guide to Private Family Mausoleums, I'm going to show you some mausoleum design options, decorations, and accessories for modern private family mausoleums and interiors. 
Accessories are great touches for mausoleums, like this vase. Portraits of family members, stained glass windows, flag holders and flags, commemorative bronze plaques, ceramic portraits, lamps, some flowers that don't require a lot of maintenance, hang a wreath, or add wind chimes to fill the air with music. An altar for your walk-in mausoleum meditation room or chapel. Prayer kneelers for meditating and praying. Accessories add a personal touch and can be appreciated by your family for generation after generation. To learn more about your options for mausoleum decorations and accessories, just call a mausoleum professional at Rome Monument and they'll be happy to answer any questions you have. A mausoleum that is well designed and built with quality materials like this one will last for centuries, even millennia. On the other hand, a mausoleum that is poorly designed, made with low quality materials and inferior craftsmanship may start to deteriorate in just a few years, like this one here. In this chapter of the Essential Buyer's Guide to Private Family Mausoleums, we'll give you some tips to buying a high-quality custom design mausoleum, focusing on granite mausoleum design considerations. In addition to providing you with a design by professional mausoleum designers, architects, and electricians, a responsible mausoleum construction company will rigidly follow mausoleum construction standards as outlined by state and local laws and regulations. They'll use a reputable granite quarry in the U.S. or Canada where you know what you are getting. And what you're getting is the highest quality granite, a solid, well-laid foundation a base course made with quality granite, not concrete. Granite sidewalls for unparalleled beauty and support. A roof that won't leak when it rains or snows. Fewer granite blocks requiring fewer joints. Joints of a quality mausoleum are small, usually less than an eighth of an inch. When looking for a mausoleum company, you'll want one that stresses quality at every stage of mausoleum production. If you want to learn more about what goes into making a high-quality mausoleum, just call a mausoleum professional at Rome Monument and they'll be happy to help you. In some ways, building a mausoleum is similar to building a home. Whether building a house or mausoleum, you want the best team designing it and building it and who adhere to construction best practices throughout the process. In this chapter of the Essential Buyer's Guide to Private Family Mausoleums, you will learn how the best mausoleum construction companies follow mausoleum design regulations and construction standards for high quality private and family mausoleums. This will ensure the longevity and safety of your investment and the safety of visitors. These construction standards include First Class Architectural Design and Structural Analysis Engineering Excellence Professional Installation Methods Solid Concrete Foundations Thorough Site Condition Acceptability Top End Mausoleum Niche Manufacturing and Installation Design and Construction for Seismic Load Protection Resistance to hurricanes and storm damage. Resistance to fire. Properly ventilated mausoleums and crypts. Adequate drainage. Prevention of mausoleum odors created by decomposing human remains. Electrical work that complies with the National Electrical Code. Permanently secure and protected doors, windows, walls, and crypts. Proper selection of building materials. Compliance with existing zoning laws. Delivery of your mausoleum on time and on budget. Surpassing performance requirements. Qualified field supervision and management. Quality control. Adequate warranties. Permitting process. Inspection and third-party vendor compliance. Post-construction support. 
Reliable mausoleum cleaning, maintenance, and restoration services. Choose a reputable company that follows the mausoleum building codes and laws of your state, and you're likely to have the mausoleum you desire and deserve. To learn more about mausoleum construction standards, just call a mausoleum professional at Rome Monument, and they'll be happy to answer any question you have. From top to bottom, the best mausoleums are made with granite. That's why it's important to have high quality granite like this one. So it will look beautiful and last a long, long time. This mausoleum was made with lesser quality granite, probably from a quarry overseas, maybe China. Already it's falling apart. In this chapter of the Essential Buyer's Guide to Private Family Mausoleums, I'm going to show you how to select high quality granite from the best granite quarries for your mausoleum. Mausoleum construction starts at the quarry, where high grade granite is extracted from the earth and sent to mills to be cut and processed. High grade granite is ideal for use in the construction of mausoleums because it has a high quartz content, making it hard, strong and durable. It's non-porous to resist moisture getting into the walls and weakening and deteriorating the structure. Quality granite resists cracking and crumbling by dampening vibrations from any ground movement. It has a smooth, even surface with no cracks, pits or bumps. And of course, it's more beautiful with unique colors and vibrant patterns. Cheap granite, on the other hand, will only diminish your valuable investment. Cheap granite can come from overseas quarries in places like China, or even offered by some disreputable companies here in the United States. It has a lower quartz content, making it softer and less durable. The granite can be porous, letting damaging moisture in. It often has uneven, cracked, pitted surfaces, and its appearance is usually uninteresting and dull. Before you purchase a mausoleum, find out where the construction company gets its granite, because if the granite isn't of the highest quality, your mausoleum won't be either. If you want to learn more about the different types of granite used in mausoleum construction, just call a mausoleum professional at Rome Monument, and they'll be happy to answer any questions you have. The earth alone won't support the weight of this mausoleum. It's going to take a well-laid foundation to keep it straight and aligned for a long, long time. In this chapter of the Essential Buyer's Guide to Private Family Mausoleums, I'm going to show you how to choose the best foundation for your mausoleum using a deep single layer of concrete with wire mesh. The foundation of a mausoleum provides a solid support for the base course and mausoleum structure. Without a good foundation, the mausoleum will absorb water and can shift with the ground, causing cracking and tilting. A high quality foundation has a single layer of 100% high grade concrete, several feet thick, and spread under the entire footprint of the mausoleum. It prevents water from being absorbed into the structure and keeps it from cracking and tilting when the ground shifts over time. The concrete slab normally rests on a slab of crushed gravel to improve drainage. Wire mesh in the concrete reduces the chance of cracking. On the other hand, a poor quality mausoleum foundation may be made with poor grade concrete that crumbles and deteriorates over time. It has multiple blocks and is only around the bottom perimeter of the building, while the middle is filled with crushed stone, which provides poor support. It can cause the structure to absorb water and shift with ground movement, causing cracking and tilting. The foundation may not cover the entire footprint of the mausoleum, and no wire mesh is used to solidify the concrete. 
Without high quality foundation materials and construction, your mausoleum is at risk of looking like this in a matter of years, losing its beauty and durability long before its time. If you want to learn more about high quality mausoleum foundations, just call a mausoleum professional at Rome Monument and they'll be happy to answer any question you have. I'm standing on what is called the base course of the mausoleum. It supports me without a problem, but can it support this large mausoleum? Without a quality base course, the answer is not for long. In this chapter of the Essential Buyer's Guide to Private Family Mausoleums, I'm going to show you why people choose a mausoleum with a granite base course using architecture and construction guidelines. The base course is a large slab of granite that rests on the concrete foundation, supporting the weight of the mausoleum and keeping it off the wet, unstable ground. Here are some factors that go into a quality base course. A high quality base course is made of a single slab of thick, high grade granite for strength, durability, and to prevent moisture from entering the mausoleum. Larger mausoleums can have multiple base courses to provide more stability and help prevent flood damage. A high quality base course extends beyond the sidewalls to prevent contact with the wet ground. A poorly constructed mausoleum may have no base course at all, allowing the sidewalls to contact the ground and draw moisture up into the crypt. A low-quality base course has low-grade granite or even porous concrete, resulting in rapid deterioration. The base course does not extend beyond the sidewalls, exposing the mausoleum to ground moisture. It can use thin granite slabs, which can easily break apart. Multiple slabs of granite are used when just one solid slab could provide stronger support. For larger mausoleums, it may have only one base course when more are required. Instead of granite, concrete is used, which is weaker and porous. Sometimes a granite veneer is used to hide the use of concrete for the base course. It can have a fake base course added to the front, which creates unwanted joints at ground level. Make sure your mausoleum base course is made with high quality materials and construction techniques. If you want to know more about quality base courses for mausoleums, just call a mausoleum professional at Rome Monument and they'll be happy to answer any question you have. This is called a sidewall of a mausoleum. The sidewalls completely surround the mausoleum and support the roof. They're also where you etch and engrave your custom lettering and artwork. In this chapter of the Essential Buyer's Guide to Private Family Mausoleums, I'm going to show you why quality mausoleums are built with granite sidewalls for plaques, lettering, and memorial artwork. A high quality sidewall is constructed with up to eight inches thick high grade granite for maximum strength. It has large, solid granite slabs to minimize the number of joints needed, which can weaken the structure. The granite has no fillers, so it lasts longer and won't deteriorate over time. A quality sidewall is positioned off the ground, supported by the base course, so it doesn't absorb damaging moisture from the ground. On the other hand, a low quality sidewall can be made with four inch or less thick granite, which means it can crack and buckle more easily. It may have smaller slabs, which require more joints, and that can weaken the sidewall. It can be made with low grade granite, which can crumble and deteriorate. Instead of using solid granite, the construction company may cut corners and use porous, weaker concrete. A poorly designed base course may have the walls coming in contact with the wet ground, causing weakening and deterioration of the sidewalls. The granite sidewalls not only provide stability and protect your mausoleum crypts, they provide the ideal surface for plaques, lettering, and memorial artwork. 
If you want to learn more about quality sidewalls for your mausoleum, just call a mausoleum professional at Rome Monument and they'll be happy to answer any question you have. The slabs of granite on a mausoleum are separated by the joints. In this chapter of the Essential Buyer's Guide to Private Family Mausoleums, I'm going to show you how U.S. mausoleum construction firms design joints, resulting in secure joints that safely separate the granite slabs and walls. A slab of granite is stronger than the material that goes into the joints, so the fewer joints and less amount of material between the slabs is your goal. Joints of a quality mausoleum are small, usually less than an eighth of an inch. Fewer joints are required due to the use of larger granite slabs. The joints never touch the ground, so they don't absorb damaging ground moisture. All joints are sealed and epoxied, so they won't absorb moisture or deteriorate, and only high-quality sealant is used. Poor quality joints result when smaller slabs are used in the construction, which require more joints. Poor quality joints are wider than 1 8 inch, creating an unstable bond. Lower quality sealant and epoxy are used. If you want to learn more about quality joint construction in mausoleums, just call a mausoleum professional at Rome Monument and they'll be happy to answer any question you have. The last slab of granite that goes on a mausoleum is the roof. It protects the crypts from the elements, so it better be made right. In this chapter of the Essential Buyer's Guide to Private Family Mausoleums, I'm going to show how U.S. private mausoleum builders design granite roofs with seamless granite for pitched and gable roofs. High quality roof construction on a mausoleum has granite up to 12 inches thick for maximum strength. It's designed to have large slabs which require fewer joints. It's made with solid high-grade granite with no fillers, so it lasts longer and won't deteriorate. And it has an effective drainage system engineered into the design. A poorly constructed mausoleum roof, on the other hand, might be built with thin granite slabs four inches or less thick. The slabs are smaller, so the roof requires more joints, which are not as strong as the granite. It can be made with poor quality granite, which is more likely to crumble and deteriorate. Sometimes, in place of the granite, porous, weaker concrete is used, and the roof may not be designed for proper drainage. A quality-driven private mausoleum builder will design granite roofs with seamless granite for pitched and gable roofs, so the interior and exterior of your mausoleum is protected from the elements and remains structurally sound and beautiful for centuries. If you want to learn more about why it's important to commission a mausoleum that is made with the highest quality materials and superior craftsmanship, just call a mausoleum professional at Rome Monument and they'll be happy to answer any question you have. How much would you pay to have a mausoleum like this for your family? or one like this, or this. In this chapter of the Essential Buyer's Guide to Private Family Mausoleums, I'm going to give you some ballpark figures on U.S. prices for one crypt, two crypt and walk-in mausoleums, one and two person mausoleums, private and family mausoleums, and more. Keep in mind, the final cost is determined by factors such as type, size, style, shape, design, ornamentation, number of crypts, and materials used in the mausoleum. These prices are current as of 2023 and don't include freight and installation costs. Basic single crypt private mausoleums for just one individual start at $17,000. Basic double crypt or companion private mausoleums start at $25,000.
These include side-by-side -side two crypt mausoleums and two crypt stacked mausoleums with one crypt on top of the other. Three crypt mausoleums start at $28,000. You can purchase a four crypt mausoleum starting from $35,000. Five crypt mausoleums start at $40,000. Six crypt mausoleums start at $45,000. Eight crypt mausoleums start at $55,000. Get a nine crypt mausoleum from $60,000. Vestibule mausoleums, small structures resembling a house or a small ornate building with a door in the middle, start at $87,000. Walk-in mausoleums with one to three crypts start at $90,000. Six to eight crypt walk-in mausoleums start at $145,000. Estate walk-in mausoleums with 12 to 16 crypts start at $350,000. Purchase a quality chapel walk-in mausoleum from $180,000. Open-air structures without a defined walk-in interior are called garden, outdoor, or sepulcher mausoleums and start from $200,000. Westminster family crypts with four crypts, side-by-side -side crypts, and crypts stacked on top of each other start from $35,000. These are ballpark figures for different types and styles of high-quality mausoleums. For more information on mausoleum costs and to find out how much the mausoleum you have in mind could cost, just call a mausoleum construction professional at Rome Monument and they'll be happy to help you out. Lots of companies sell mausoleums, but only a select few actually design and construct mausoleums. In this chapter of the Essential Buyer's Guide to Private Family Mausoleums, I'm going to give you some tips on how to find the right company to buy your mausoleum from. A guide to selecting your mausoleum designer and builder. Most families prefer working directly with a mausoleum company, not just a mausoleum salesperson. This gives them a truly satisfying, fully immersive experience. Since there aren't many companies that make mausoleums in the U.S., it's likely you'll be working with an out-of-town company. But a good company is used to working remotely with clients and is willing to install a mausoleum anywhere in the U.S. Here's what you should look for when you're looking for a company that makes high-quality mausoleums. A company that doesn't value engineer their products by going the cheapest route so choose a company that uses only the highest quality materials for the mausoleum. That includes the granite for the structure and the concrete for the foundation. A company with its own design team to ensure you get a mausoleum with impeccable design and that is exactly what you're looking for. A company that lets you analyze the blueprints for important details, such as the number of slabs the company is using on each surface the thickness of the slabs, a company that minimizes the width of the joints. The mausoleum company you choose should follow mausoleum construction standards as outlined by state and local regulations and best practices. Will the company install the mausoleum in your community? Do they know the rules and regulations of the cemeteries in your area? Check on the history of the company. How much experience do they have working with families? And how long have they been building mausoleums? As we've seen in previous chapters of this video, every piece of the mausoleum should meet certain standards for integrity, from the foundation to the roof. A good mausoleum construction company may charge you a little more for quality materials and quality at every stage of the construction, but your grandchildren and their grandchildren will appreciate your foresight. For more information on what to look for in a mausoleum company, just call a mausoleum construction professional at Rome Monument and they'll be happy to help you out. Mausoleums come in all shapes and sizes and can cost anywhere from under $10,000 to over a million dollars. Either way, it's a big investment and you shouldn't go into the transaction blindly. In this chapter of the Essential Buyer's Guide to Private Family Mausoleums, I'm going to show you how to buy your one crypt, 
2 crypt or walk-in mausoleum, and you'll learn about private mausoleum prices and the mausoleum design process. Most Americans live in a community where there are cemeteries, but no monument company that actually makes mausoleums. Since your choice of a company will likely be from out of town, the transaction will likely be done remotely. To find a company that makes mausoleums customized for your family, start by searching the web for companies that make mausoleums customized for your family from original designs, not from a design template in a brochure. Fill out the inquiry form on the company's webpage for cost estimates for your mausoleum. Then call the companies you feel comfortable with. The lowest price may not be your best option if you are looking for a quality built mausoleum. Single crypt private mausoleums for just one individual start at $17,000. Basic double crypt or companion private mausoleums start at $25,000. Eight crypt mausoleums start at $55,000. Walk-in mausoleums with one to three crypts start at $90,000. Six to eight crypt walk-in mausoleums start at $145,000. Estate walk-in mausoleums with 12 to 16 crypts start at $350,000. Garden, outdoor, or sepulcher mausoleums start from $200,000. Agree on a company that meets your design and budget. You should get a blueprint, pricing, and a la carte options with first inquiry. If you approve a quote of more than $100,000, not including shipping and delivery, you will sign the order and pay a one-third down deposit. For a mausoleum that costs $100,000 or less, you'll pay one half down. It is best to pay by check or bank wire transfer to avoid credit card processing fees. Next, you'll work with the mausoleum company to develop a design that your family loves. When you approve the final drawing, you will make your second, one-third installment. Now the company builds the mausoleum piece by piece. It usually takes about 10 months to complete the construction. Making a mausoleum can take anywhere from a few months to over a year. When completed, the company ships it to your cemetery plot. At this time, you will make your final payment, plus the additional shipping and setting costs. Larger mausoleums are assembled at the cemetery. In some cases, the cemetery can set and assemble the mausoleum for a fee. If this had been a pre-need purchase where the company held the mausoleum in their warehouse until a family member passed, you would have paid the final one-third over a three-year period. Keep in mind, not all companies follow these exact steps, but this gives you a good idea on how a typical mausoleum purchase works. For more information on how the mausoleum purchasing process works, you can talk to a mausoleum professional at Rome Monument and they'll be happy to help you out. In previous chapters of the Essential Buyer's Guide to Private Family Mausoleums, we looked at factors you should look for when buying a mausoleum that will withstand the test of time. Things like styles of mausoleums, types, the importance of pre-planning, the importance of quality materials and craftsmanship. We also looked at how different types of mausoleums are priced. In this chapter of the Essential Buyer's Guide to Private Family Mausoleums, we're going to take you to an actual mausoleum construction company to see how to plan, design, and build your family mausoleum from design concept to cemetery installation. I'm here at the Rome Monument headquarters just outside Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. This is where the whole process gets started. Rome Monument is a family-owned company now in its fourth generation. When you call to inquire about a mausoleum, Rome takes the time to educate you on every aspect of the design and what their options are. After all, it's a big investment on your part. Rome's mausoleum artists come up with an initial CAD design, which they go over with you and make any changes and adjustments you want. When the final design is approved, they begin the process of building the mausoleum. The Rome Granite Monument and Quarried Rock Warehouse has hundreds of granite slabs to choose from for your headstone or mausoleum. It's one of the largest in America. 
Rome gets its beautiful, high-quality granite from the most reputable quarries in the United States, Canada, and around the world. Every color, pattern, and texture to choose from for your own custom-designed mausoleum. From here, the granite goes next door to the Rome production facility. This is where Rome Monument constructs their mausoleums. It's called the Rome Works Artisan Center. Right here, hundreds of headstones and mausoleums are designed and constructed each year. Each one of the highest quality, using the highest quality materials and craftsmanship. Where certified master carvers and craftspeople cut the granite to size. Sculpt. Hand etch. Letter. Polish and sandblast to achieve a perfect mausoleum slab or accessory. When it's complete, they either store the mausoleum in the warehouse for future assembly at the cemetery, or they deliver it to a cemetery anywhere in the continental United States. The foundation for the mausoleum is laid in advance of the setting. The base course is laid out, the side walls positioned, and the roof is placed on top. Any joint work is performed to seal the areas between the slabs to keep the mausoleum watertight. Accessories and decorations are added, and the landscaping completed. A custom mausoleum company will create a special and customized mausoleum for your family, one that can be appreciated now and by future generations. Your options for a mausoleum are virtually endless. Let us know when you're ready to begin. For more information on mausoleums and how to order a private family mausoleum, just call Rome Monument and a mausoleum construction professional will be happy to help you out. Thank you for watching the Essential Buyer's Guide to Private Family Mausoleums. I hope these videos help you when making your decision about purchasing a mausoleum for your family. Go to the description to click on any chapter you'd like to see.